Dewey Brown. And welcome back to our second episode of Dewey and Leslie Brown's Song Vlog on our YouTube channel. Welcome. Yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, watching the previous uh, video. We really appreciate all the kind words and compliments. Um, and uh, we had a blast doing it. It was a lot of fun and uh, it was exciting to see all the views and then we hope y'all enjoyed it too. We do and uh, we just released Dana uh, as our new single. Dana is a rambling girl. She rambles all around the world. From man to man and town to town. Encourage you uh, to call your local DJ and uh, request a spin. We'd sure appreciate that, and uh, be listening for it on the radio. Uh, we appreciate all the DJs that are playing it out there, and also you can go to uh, the Apple Store, iTunes. That's what it's called. It took me a minute. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to you. I'm not sure. <laughs> and uh, Google Play and um, uh, YouTube, all kinds of places. Anyway, we'll we'll put the links below. Uh, but we're today we're gonna uh, roll back in time just a little bit to our first album, Under the Mountain, and uh, mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about a song that I wrote there called No Mountain Girl. And uh, we do have a music video that's out, and uh, yeah. yeah, RFD uh, shared that and yeah, a few weeks ago that really was a nice surprise. We appreciate that. We do, we do. Mr. And Ronnie Reno shared that as well. He I did. Thank one. you, Ronnie, if you're yeah. watching. We sure appreciate it and uh, all the awesome compliments. Yeah. Thank um, you so much. Dean and Star Jones, who um, are very well known in the Hollywood industry, um, produced that video. and They it, worked very hard on it, and we did. really appreciate it. We do. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we had a lot of mishaps, and maybe one day we'll show you behind the scenes about what really happened. Oh my. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> we had a lot of fun, uh, but it, it, was, uh, it was a cool thing to do. So anyway, we figured we would tell you about the song and uh, about how I wrote the song. There is a few uh, things. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're staying safe. Um, I think things are, hopefully we're yeah. moving towards some type of new normal. That's right, we're um, in uh, 2020. If uh, this is several years <laughs> down the road. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> the year that everything changed. Yeah. <laughs> year of the virus, but you uh, anyhow, hope everybody's doing well. We do, and um, we uh, have some new things that we've been working on, and uh, I'll let Dewey tell you about his new endorsement deal, and we're really excited about it. So do you want to talk oh, about yes. it? Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, my good friends uh, that I just recently met, but I've been a longtime fan of uh, Yarger violin strings. They're made in Denmark, and I've been playing them for 20-some years, and we got in touch uh, a few months ago, and we got to talking, and uh, I became an endorser for them. So it's super exciting. Uh, and I've, like I say, I've been playing them for years, but uh, I use the mediums, the the blue pack for my fiddle, and uh, they've always done awesome. I played them for years with Ralph Stanley and uh, recorded uh, just about everything we ever did using those strings. And uh, they sent me some new gauges to try out, some light and heavies, and I'm kind of liking that too. So uh, they're really good people over there. It was really nice to, to meet them, and we appreciate all the folks at Yarger Strings. That's right. Yeah. All right. And uh, also... Um I'll let you go ahead and tell him about Dewey's got a hat on in this video. I don't know if you can see that. And he doesn't have the beard. And uh, before we get to the hat, though, I'm going to tell y'all we're we're burning up down here in North Carolina. I don't know where y'all are at or what's been going on, but it is so hot. It's warm uh, down here in the summertime. It is so warm. I seen a hound dog chasing a rabbit, and they were both walking. That's how hot it oh. is. Oh. Yeah. Well, ha ha. <laughs> 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 but anyway, uh, me and my jokes. Uh, we'll get back to the hat. So uh, Dewey's wearing his hat today. He's real excited to share that with you. Yeah, uh, my good friends at Pre-War Guitars, I had uh, ordered, uh, went down and seen them a couple years ago. Well, actually about a year ago. And uh, and uh, I had been wanting it so long. It, it felt like a couple years, but it was actually just a year. But they uh, just got it today. It's a uh, one of their uh, HD models with the Brazilian rosewood. And uh, I got the uh, Shady Top 28 and... Uh, Distressed to a level three, so it's it's got the cool factor. I really like it a ton. It's uh, it's a great guitar, and I uh, thank Ben and Wes down there at the Pre-War Guitars for uh, for doing that. I, I really enjoy it. It's a uh, it's the uh, last video I was playing the my R46 Herringbone, and uh, love love the old Martin guitars, and uh, these are exactly like the old ones. But uh, yeah, fun times for me. 
<laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of wives out there, musicians' wives that know. But now I'm a musician, so I can somewhat understand. It's a little and, uh, easier to get a new guitar nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is exactly right. And so we'll move on from that subject. I'm sure y'all are out there That's laughing. Right. They want to hear, they want to <laughs> But uh, anyway, but no, uh, we do appreciate the folks there at uh, pre-war guitars, yeah. and I was super amazed with with all the distressing, and uh, th this is a, a beautiful piece of work. I'm I'm like wow. So anyway, it sounds yeah. great as well. Um, so check them out, prewarguitars.com. I think yeah, is it's online. So you can too. check them out. Um, and uh, so anyway, uh, we'll get into the song. I'll uh, tell you a little bit, and then we're gonna do like we did for Dana, and we'll sing a little bit for you. But uh, I wrote this song. Uh, no Mountain Girl. Uh, as you all know, I grew up in the Appalachian Mountains of Virginia, a uh, little town, Van Sant, Virginia, which is near Grundy, Virginia, um, in a coal mining town, and um, I'm a mountain girl, and uh, I've been... That's, that's where I first saw you. That's right. We met. Yeah. Uh, there, that's exactly right. Yeah, Labor Day, down at the uh, Saltville. Saltville, Virginia. The festival. We yeah. did. Dewey was up there playing the fiddle, and... Uh, uh, funny, I know he. Oh, we're gonna get into that. I have to. Let's I have it. to tell y'all. I mean, there. somebody hadn't heard this story. Uh, I was clogging, and uh, doing. <laughs> he hates me telling this story. I was up there clogging, and he was up there playing, and uh, he came down afterwards and gave me his business card and said, if I ever need a fiddle player, to give him a call. And uh, I was real naive back then. I didn't really know. I went I think to my. I daddy. was the naive. You one. were. That's true. But I was too. What you didn't know. And I went to my daddy and I said, "What would I need a fiddle player for?" And he said. I don't think that's why he gave you his card, sugar babe. <laughs> so, anyway, that yeah. that started, uh, we've been married 13 years now. And that's June, right. We had an anniversary, so. So, anyway, that's yeah. how it all started in the mountains. And uh, so, uh, I grew up with a lot of mountain girls. And uh, some of them are nice and some of them are mean, just like everybody else. So, that's right. uh, I kind of created a fictional version, I guess, of uh, uh, there's... Um, so the, the song talks about you don't want no mountain girl, which is the opposite of what most songs talk about. They talk about wanting a mountain girl or uh, lots of different yeah, songs. Yeah, sweet about, little mountain girl or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I thought, well, let's just go the other way and say you don't want no mountain girl. And we always joke on stage that, you know, Dewey knows all about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um but anyway, the song talks about uh, a young girl, and the video kind of follows that as well. Um, we did a storyline video or a concept video, I think that's what it's called, yeah. and uh, where it tells a story about a, a, a girl, and uh, she's just mean as an old snake. Yeah. She is. That was just... an exciting video. Police chases, shootouts, and. It was really cool to see how all that is behind the scenes. I yeah. always wondered how movies are, are made, you know, and it was really cool to kind of be a part mm -hmm. of one. So that was really fun. And so uh, so definitely check that video out, No Mountain Girl. And uh, like I said, we'll link below. And um, But anyway, I'll, I'll just quickly run through. I mean, you know, sometimes you write a song that's just kind of like a feel-good song. And uh, I'm a little sassy. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> So some of my songs, that kind of comes out because I listen to all different types of music. I mean, bluegrass is number one, y'all. I, I know my daddy always said it wasn't music, but it wasn't bluegrass. So, but I do listen to a lot of different types of music. And so, um, so the, so the verses are, uh, with her eyes of emerald green, she can't help but to be seen, uh, and her price ain't worth your cost. And, uh, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dewey knows all about that. <laughs> She will love and she will leave with your heart upon your sleeve. Like the rain, your tears. Tears? Tears. That is mountain girl. <laughs> like the rain, your tears will fall. He makes fun of me, y'all, because of things I say sometimes. Crockett instead of That's crooked. not a real word, but it's okay. We were... <laughs> well, it is. I know my Virginia folks know what I'm talking about, but... We were talking about this today in, in That's Office, why they me and the girls. It the was Crooked funny. Road or the Crooked Road? Well, it is the Crooked I Road. Know. We it's have to okay, say that though. correctly. But, um, behind the scenes, they say Crooked. Behind the scenes, some of us say Crooked. Yeah. And uh, we were talking, what was we talking about today? I forgot, but lots of different words. But anyway, uh, your times. tears. I do say that. Fear and fear. Yeah. Tear. It's like Ralph talks. So. I know. Mm -hmm. Watch it. <laughs> but, um,. Like the rain, your tears will fall. So uh, she's she's really she is really out to get uh, somebody. So uh, the video kind of shows that, and uh, you'll see kind of what that means. And then you know uh, 
mountain girl. You don't want no mountain girl. Uh, prettiest thing in the world. You don't want no mountain She'll girl. She'll break your heart. She'll break your heart right from the start. You don't want no mountain That's girl. That's a good one. Let's do it for <laughs> sure and check that out on our first album you can purchase that album at our website doinglesliebrown.com and uh, you can also uh, go view the video be sure and do that it's lots of fun mm -hmm. and um, subscribe to our channel we've got some ring shows bell, coming up ring ring, oh sorry yeah our son make sure to tell us that's right. ring that ring bell. bell subscribe subscribe well you're did doing you say really doinglesliebrown.com i did oh good yeah <laughs> doinglesliebrown.com and uh, there's one thing we're forgetting oh we're we're uh, going to be somewhere here very soon. We are. We are. And, uh, yeah. In a few weeks, we're going to be at the historical Camp Springs Bluegrass Festival. And uh, a lot of great acts are going to be there. They're going to be uh, open. And uh, they're going to be... They're going to be there. We're all, they're all going to be practicing safe distancing and all that. And, uh, and they've got plenty of room to spread out and... And uh, not bother anybody, or you can bother people if you want to. There you, know, you go. You, you, there's, I like to bother you. I know. I like to bother you too. And so, and, uh, and, yeah. <laughs> but we, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, they can. You can get out there and have a good time, and everybody be feel safe and be safe. And uh, there's a great lineup again. They've done a great job this year. There's going to be camping, and uh, they've got hookups, and it's going to be awesome. That's right. I'm looking forward to being there. Dewey's looking forward to being there. Uh, we will also be, uh, I don't know if you guys seen us perform on our Facebook page, uh, and Fox 8 did a special when this, uh, when everything, when the quarantine was going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have some new band members, and we're really excited exactly. to, yes, we are so excited to showcase those guys. Um, our other guys, we are still very close, and we appreciate them so much. Um, they just moved on, and uh, so we've got some new guys, and uh, Mr. Matthew is on the banjo, mm -hmm. and uh, Mr. Dalton Smith is on the guitar. And that's right. Yeah, they're so both from West Virginia. They and, are uh, young fellows, but they are steeped in the tradition of bluegrass music, and we're glad to have them. And uh, like I say, Brandon and Tim are still good, great friends of ours. And uh, Kendall uh, Gales is still in the band on that mandolin, and uh, so we're, we're we all have a great time playing music. It's it's all about having fun. It to is. us and uh, so uh, where are we yeah at? so y'all come see us at Camp Springs yeah. uh, we are uh, excited about IBMA y'all support them they're gonna be doing a virtual thing this year because that's of right. everything that's happened uh, but you can find out on IBMA.org I hope I said that correctly yeah if it's not org it could be dot com, com. Or, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's been a long day, y'all. Uh, but anyway, please support IBMA. They do so much for our music. They do so much for the artists. Mm -hmm. um, they are still working on the lineups, and I know it's going to be really awesome. So oh, yeah. we're excited. That we're gonna we're gonna be involved somehow. So yeah. be yeah, right. checking on that for and, sure. And uh, we need to say a big shout out to Valerie. That's right, Bell Buckle Records, uh, our record label. We appreciate Valerie so much. Um, we have had the best time. I have really enjoyed um, working with her. I, I'm telling you, she has taught me so much. She is one of my, um, mm -hmm. I'm one of her biggest fans. And uh, so anyway, right. yeah, we're excited, and uh, we've got some new music. Oh, we so have been exciting. working on it. We went to Nashville, y'all. I'm so yep. excited yeah, about. We went, went out there with her, and uh, we got some. Uh, we can't talk about it yet, but there's some. We got some special guests on the album, and it's just it turned out so good. Yeah, we're excited about it, and uh, I'm I'm like, woo! Yeah, so we can't wait to tell you about it. So stay up to date. Make sure that you are checking us out on our Facebook page. Subscribe That's to right. this YouTube channel, our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. I know it's getting Olivia a lot all this social media. It's oh, like yeah. a, so so there's a list. I remember when it was just MySpace. You remember MySpace? Uh, I never was there. Yeah. <laughs> It was like Facebook. It, oh, was it? Yeah, it wasn't like a place. It was on the internet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dewey was playing I was fiddle. at my place, not my space. There you go. You were at my place. <laughs> you were at play that fiddle. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know, um, you know, the last video we talked about the song Dana, which was a little more mm -hmm. uh, involved. And uh, this song, you know, I wrote it was just a really kind of a fun, heartfelt song. Uh, a little sassy, catchy, you don't want no mountain girl. And, uh, you know, if you feel impressed to write, uh, sing, or anything, I want to encourage you to do that. You know, I I don't, I know I've said this before, but, um, y'all, I'm a nurse, and that's what I did while Dewey was and on I'm the road. And I'm a doctor. <laughs> but I, I got a license. <laughs> She's real. I got a license, yeah. I'm not a doctor. Uh, but, you know, I would have never thought that this would be something that I would be doing. Um, you know, and Dewey encouraged me. He really did. And... Um, pushed me out on the ledge and said, you know, you can do this. So I want to tell anybody that's out there that is feeling like, you know, I don't know if I should do this or not. You should do it. It's fun. I mean, just have fun so with it. Fun. It is. Yeah. So, um, and uh, while you're talking about everybody a while ago, I, re I thought about Jerry Brown at the Rubber Room in, in Chapel Hill. Or we, do, we do a lot of recording ourselves and, uh, and we do a lot of recording at Jerry's place too, at the Rubber Room. So Jerry Brown, we appreciate everything you right. do. He hey, uh, mastered uh, Dana and did a, we did a lot of the you know the mixing and all that stuff there with him that's right and so we're going to be having some new music out for you as time goes on and then uh then we'll release the album but we are um we are almost completed and we're yeah. excited to share that with you so we appreciate you for sharing your time with us uh on our second song vlog we will have a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth and we're excited about doing those and uh there you go yeah so you've got a song, song. See, we said that in unison. But um, uh, the next one, uh, you know, I will uh, probably dig a little deeper back into some some emotional things. But um, for this one, we hope you enjoyed No Mountain Girl. Yeah. We had a lot of fun with it. That's right. And uh, we hope to see you next time out on the road. That's right. And, Come see uh, us at Camp Springs. That's right, Camp Springs. We'll see you there. Bye, y'all. See you.